is Dita here with Hero Smart Homeschool Academy. Welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Hi. Today we're going to be reading Waters for the Camels and Rebecca. The story of Rebecca. We're going to find out, you know, whose camels needed water and who is this Rebecca that gives this to them. Let's open up with a word of prayer and we'll get right into today's reading. <clears throat> We thank you, Lord, for this time. We have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good work. So let's go ahead and find out a little bit more. What is for the camels? Before the servant had finished praying, a beautiful young woman came to get water. The servant asked her, will you give me some water, please? Yes, she said. I'll get water for your camels, too. It was a big job. Thirsty camels can drink a lot of water. Back and forth she went, pouring water for them all. Do you think the man noticed how kind the woman was? Do you think he noticed? Oh, that's a tall order, isn't it? This story is called Rebecca. The servant knew this woman was the one to be Isaac's wife. Her name was Rebecca. The servant took gifts to her family and asked if Rebecca could marry Isaac. Her father said she could, and Rebecca wanted to get married too. So she went home with the servant to meet Isaac. The servant needed God to help him find the right girl. What do you do when you need God's help? What do you do when you need God's help? I hope that was an automatic, well, I pray and talk to God. That's the right answer. If you say, I need God's help, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Well, we don't want to, I don't know. We want to ask God and believe God to help us. So spend time with God in a place of prayer every single day. You can start today if you haven't already. The question I want you to answer in your writing journal, please pull it out at this time if you have it, is this. How did God answer the servant's prayer? How did he answer Abraham's servant's prayer? Hmm. Thank you so much for coming to class for being a part of today's lesson. But until tomorrow, God bless. I'll be your hero's body And as you study With heroes born I will be your friend So don't you